there's also onboard fall protection, an onboard routine mm. that will, uh, in the middle of October, uh, execute a turn to point to Earth. NASA says its Voyager 1 probe is sending usable information to Earth again. A line of faint radio code traveling across 15 billion miles of darkness has reached home after years of silence. But this time, something's different. And finally, NASA on a Tuesday said that it has found a heartbeat signal. The message isn't what scientists expected. It's too structured, too exact, like something is speaking through the machine rather than from it. Voyager 1 is a relic of another age, built in the 1970s when computers filled rooms and data was stored on magnetic tape. It wasn't meant to last this long. It wasn't meant to think or react or turn. It was built to leave, to escape the solar system, to wander forever through the emptiness beyond the sun's reach. September 5th, 1977, a rocket arcs through the Florida sky, carrying a gold-plated time capsule engraved with instructions for anyone or anything that might find it. That capsule was Voyager 1, 800 watts of power from decaying plutonium, a transmitter designed to send data back to Earth, but never to listen. Not designed for active signal acquisition beyond telemetry. Command reception was limited. No sensors capable of interpreting sound or signal from beyond. Its memory was smaller than a modern calculator. Its software hardwired. Its course locked. And yet, 46 years later, something made it turn. Voyager 1's mission was simple. After passing Jupiter and Saturn, it was supposed to keep going, past Pluto, past the edge of the Sun's magnetic bubble known as the heliopause. Beyond that point, there is no wind, no gravity worth feeling, no sunlight to warm metal. It's an ocean of nothing, a silence so deep, even the nearest star seems frozen in place. That's where Voyager has been drifting for more than a decade. No planets, no light, just endless dark. And for most of that time, the probe obeyed its code without question. It sent data. It listened to no one. It moved forward until it didn't. In November 2023, Voyager began transmitting something strange. Next, NASA says its Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe, is sending usable information to Earth again. The data looked scrambled, not corrupted, but deliberately rearranged. Engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory noticed irregular pulses in the signal, faint but rhythmic, almost like heartbeat patterns buried inside the static. They assumed it was damage, maybe from cosmic radiation or failing hardware. And it seems to be a hardware problem. It's not surprising for something that's four and a half decades old and has been operating. The spacecraft was old. Every reading could be explained by time until the fault protection system kicked in. That system is Voyager's last line of defense, designed to trigger only during life-threatening malfunctions, like losing orientation or spinning out of control. But there was no such danger. The craft was stable. It hadn't spun, hadn't drifted, and yet the system acted as if something massive had struck it. Telemetry vanished. The probe's gyroscopes went silent. Internal clocks began to lose sync. And then came the movement. Without thrusters firing, without any recorded command from Earth, Voyager turned, slowly, deliberately. It aimed its antenna not toward Earth, but toward an empty region of sky, a place where no known star or galaxy exists. The thrusters didn't fire. The power logs were clean. It simply rotated, as if pushed by invisible hands. NASA thought it was a reading error, but the gyroscopes confirmed a real torque event. Voyager had physically rotated. In the emptiest region of space known to humankind, the probe moved without cause. Every test failed to explain it. No radiation burst, no solar wind, no micrometeorite impact. The spacecraft wasn't malfunctioning. It was reacting. It was as if something out there had reached back. They called it the shift. After the turn, Voyager's plasma instruments detected a tone, a steady, clear hum at 3000 hertz. Unlike background noise, it didn't fluctuate. It was constant, clean, precise. When plotted on a waveform, the tone displayed mirrored structures, patterns that reflected themselves in perfect symmetry. It wasn't random. It was composed. NASA dubbed it the plasma melody. When audio engineers analyzed it, they found mathematical repetition buried inside the tone. 
ratios matching prime numbers, pauses spaced at intervals following the Fibonacci sequence. It wasn't a natural emission, it was designed. But that wasn't all. Inside the signal, NASA discovered data strings that shouldn't exist, hexadecimal sequences repeating in fractal patterns. Prime chains, recursive loops, and constants like pi and the speed of light encoded to levels of precision beyond what Voyager's ancient sensors could measure. The data was layered within Voyager's own transmission, as if something had inserted its message into the spacecraft's signal, using it as a courier. No other spacecraft, neither Pioneer nor New Horizons, registered anything unusual. Whatever this was, it was for Voyager alone. It seemed impossible. To send a focused signal across interstellar space, aimed at a probe smaller than a car, moving at 17 kilometers per second, would require knowing its exact location in both space and time. It would require technology far beyond human capability. And yet, that's exactly what had happened. Then the halo appeared. Ground-based observatories, intrigued by Voyager's new orientation, pointed high-resolution infrared arrays toward the patch of sky it faced. For weeks, they saw nothing. But on the 27th day, faint light began to shimmer across the field, a diffuse circular glow. It pulsed, not randomly, but in time with solar activity back home. Each time the sun emitted a flare, the halo flickered in response, as if echoing our star's heartbeat across the void. And finally, NASA on a Tuesday said that it has found a heartbeat signal. It wasn't a reflection. It wasn't static. It was alive with rhythm. And then, silence. Voyager heard a whisper, not human. It was the scream of a star that died 1,400 years ago, still echoing in the void. For 12 hours, Voyager stopped transmitting entirely. No static, no pulse, nothing. The void swallowed it. Mission Control waited, terrified. The last time Voyager went dark was never. It had transmitted without pause for almost half a century. Then, as suddenly as it vanished, the signal returned. Stronger, cleaner, sharper than before. But it wasn't the same Voyager. Its internal clock had reset. Not delayed, restarted as if the craft had existed somewhere else, under a different measure of time, and then slipped back into hours. No mechanical failure, no data corruption, just a temporal blank space. The European Space Agency ran a test. They aligned Voyager's new trajectory with data from the cosmic microwave background, the faint static left by the Big Bang. And there it was, a ripple in the background noise, small but geometric, perfectly matching Voyager's position. The disturbing part? That ripple wasn't new. It had been there all along, buried in data from the 1990s, decades before Voyager ever reached that region of space. The universe somehow had predicted its arrival. By now, NASA knew the transmission wasn't random. Traditional computers couldn't decode the embedded data. It didn't behave like binary code. So they turned to a quantum processor, known as the Majorana One, designed to interpret probabilities rather than exact sequences. The Majorana chip began mapping the patterns, searching for structure. The loops started to align. Recursion turned into grammar. The numbers folded into language. And then, the signal produced one single readable line. Are you ready to listen? The lab fell silent. The message wasn't in any human language. It was a logical construction interpreted through quantum translation. But the meaning was clear. After that, attention returned to the tone itself. Hidden beneath the hum was a rhythm, a melody built on harmonic intervals, recognizable to anyone who understands music. It mirrored itself like a palindrome. Each sequence resolved into the next in mathematical balance. It wasn't noise, it was composition. NASA brought in acousticians, cryptologists, and even linguists. Their consensus was unsettling. The tone wasn't sent to Voyager, it was released through it. The probe had triggered something. It had knocked on the universe's door, and something had knocked back. Within weeks, Voyager's behavior stabilized. It continued sending data, perfectly operational, but with one difference. The signal now contained faint harmonics that shouldn't be there. Like an echo riding on the carrier wave, persistent and faint, repeating every 13 hours. 
the same duration as its mysterious blackout. Publicly, NASA issued calm reports about data anomalies and transmission restoration. Privately, things were far more chaotic. Meeting rooms filled with defense representatives. Archives were sealed. Entire analysis teams were moved off public servers. Engineers from the original 1970s design group were quietly brought back to consult. Among internal memos, a new term appeared again and again, field interaction. That was the official explanation. An energy field with properties unknown to current physics had interacted with Voyager 1. It wasn't random interference. The field moved in synchronization with the spacecraft's own systems, as if it understood them. When Voyager turned, the field turned. When the tone pulsed, the signal shifted in harmony. It wasn't a collision, it was communication. A conversation carried through energy. Decades after launch, a machine built by human hands, powered by fading radioactive dust, had entered the dark between stars. And something there had been waiting. Voyager 1 drifts beyond the sun. Faint data whispers home, yet in the static, that steady hum returns. Today, Voyager 1 continues to drift, far beyond the sun's influence. Its instruments still whisper faint data back to Earth, and every so often, hidden in the static, that same low hum returns, steady, rhythmic, impossible to ignore. Perhaps it's just a glitch from an aging probe, or perhaps it's the sound of the universe responding to our first message. After nearly half a century of silence, humanity may have heard its first true echo in the dark.